So I decided I'd give you guys a brief introduction to my latest series, The Fundamental Falsehoods of Homophobia. Um, yes, it is inspired by Aaron Raw's Fundamental Falsehoods of Creationism. Before I get started, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to what each of the videos is going to be covering. Now I'm going to cover the following facts. One, homosexuality is indeed natural. It occurs a lot in the animal kingdom and largely in primate populations. Humans are primates. Does this make it good? Not at all. But does this make it bad? No. The naturalness or unnaturalness of any one item is not a method by which to test if it is good or evil. It simply means, however, that people are born that way. We must look to any harm done to decide whether or not the natural inclination, as it were, is evil. Two, gender identity is learned. Recent studies have indicated that gender identity comes partly from hormonal balances and your upbringing. In other words, if you are brought up to think you're a girl when in actuality you are a man, then you will largely behave femininely. Mind you, this does have limits and only really affects those who are born hermaphrodites or born with chromosome patterns drastically different than XX and XY. But because of the learned identity, transgenderism, or indeed boyish butches and girly gays, are psychologically possible. 3. Homosexuality is not a choice. In other words, it's something that you cannot change without chemically castrating someone. It's not a choice. Indeed, the only choice in homosexuality is whether or not you will be true to yourself or true to the ignorant bigots who make fun of you and don't understand simple science. Evidence has suggested this for a while now, but recent studies indicate that male children of, with older brothers are more likely to be gay than those without. This is because the mother's body creates antibodies against the male fetus, which in turn feminize it. If that isn't enough, then they also another study concluded that 70% of identical twins who claimed they were gay had their twin also say they were gay. In other words, genes play more of a role in determining your sexuality than they do in whether or not you're right or left-handed. Studies have, so far, mainly focused on gay men and have so yet to be conducted on lesbian couples. What a shock. But they shall yield similar results, I'm sure. For homosexuality is not a sin. The Bible says a lot of things that we can prove to be wrong. It claims the earth is flat and it is supported by pillars, and that the earth is the center of the universe, that stars can fall from the sky and have a mind and are capable of fighting. Why can't this just be another one of those things on that list? It's not an affront to your God to suggest that maybe the fools who wrote the Bible were wrong. Because it wasn't written by God or people who were enlightened by God, it was written by men, mere, fallible, mortal men, who will lie, distort, and corrupt the words of God for their own purpose. And those in the Bible have done so a lot. The Bible has been used to justify pillage, rape, murder, slavery, up until the Civil War, too, and abortion. You know, I find it interesting that the most homophobic states tend to be in the Bible Belt, and that the Bible Belt happens to be where the old Confederacy was. So being gay is not wrong, and even if one particular part of God was true, as in he did hate gays, the truth is we can't conclusively prove anything about it because God cannot be proven by anything. He is supernatural and therefore, by definition, beyond nature, which science is a study of nature. In other words, science can't say anything about him, and we can't really say anything about how he's going to act. So all we can really do is behave our best, and assuming that the other three facts are true, which you will see, then quite frankly, and you can verify them at any college library, it's fairly accurate to say that if you go around declaring God hates gays and saying all this discriminatory bullshit, it only makes you look like an ignorant, bigoted savage.